How does the weight of a shaft affect ball flight? Today we're going to dive into True Temper, four different options from them, and see how things change. Guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Danny Farrell, Master Fitter at Minnetonka. Paired up with Jackie Johnson. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. So today we're going to be diving into True Temper. One of the most common shafts you'll see not only on tour, but outside playing as well. One of the most trusted. So talk to me a little bit about shafts, what we're going to be doing today. Yeah, so today we got a shaft comparison with True Temper. We're going to go with the AMT Black okay. Dynamic Gold 120 S400 the Elevate Tour, okay. and then the Dynamic Gold Tour Issue. So a okay. little bit different in trajectories for them, as okay. well as the weight of the shafts. Sure. So it'll be an interesting test to see how that compares for you in terms of ball flight, spin, mm -hmm. uh, landing angle, okay. you name it. Okay. A uh, couple other things going on with the shafts, guys. If you've never heard of AMT, AMT from True Temper is Ascending Mass Technology. Now, what does that mean? Good question. <laughs> I got you covered. <laughs> AMT, guys, it's going to change. Every weight on the club, 7 iron, 6 iron, 5 iron, the weight gets 3 grams lighter as you move up. Okay. And on the flip side, the 8, the 9, the pitching wedge gets 3 grams heavier off of that 7 iron for more control. Okay. So that's a huge difference for players that you know, lack a little bit of height on the longer irons. When that shaft itself gets a little bit lighter, easier to float that ball up. And then on the exact opposite side, We've got the True Temper Dynamic Gold Tour Issue. Tour Issue stuff. Yeah. Big it's, prime time. It's going to be uh, way different than the other three, I can guarantee that. Absolutely. So guys, Tour Issue, meaning the weight tolerance of the shaft. Weight tolerance itself, right? How heavy each shaft is. With Tour Issue product, we know it's 132 grams on the 7 iron. You can trust the weight from shaft to shaft to shaft for ultimate playability and feel and control. So. You ready to dive in? Let's go. All right, Danny. So first shaft we're going to test out is the True Temper AMT Black. You ready to go? Let's do it. So we're going to do three shots uh, with each shaft and okay. take a look and compare the numbers. Let's do it. There you go. Get out in a club Beauty. twirl there. Beauty. What's next? Elevate Tour we got next. Okay. How'd that dynamic gold feel? Um, it was a little bit different than the AMT. Yeah. You know, Weight-wise, I could feel more of it. Um, felt a little bit boardy or stiff, kind of down at the tip section. I think that's got to do with expected. that, that yeah. S400 kind of tip in there. Um, so it'll be interesting to go to something slightly softer yep. in the tip with this Elevate. See what's going on there. All right, here you go. Okay, so same weight, just different kind of profile on how yep. it bends here. Okay. There you go. Much higher. Mm -hmm. Long triangle's up quite a bit there. Yeah, a lot smoother kind of first impression, a lot yeah. smoother shaft than the last one for sure. How'd that one feel? I liked it. I liked that kind of everything was almost working in the shot shape that I like to see. I had a little bit more control with this. Yeah. And the feel was a little bit better. I'd say it's probably out of uh, the AMT Black. I like this one a little bit better. Okay. So let's see how the next two do. I noticed the sound probably more than anything. Okay. Uh, definitely like a quieter sound. A little bit crisper, right? Yeah. I actually found in the middle of the face. Yeah. So yeah, it felt a little bit better. Be interested to see how, you know, the similar weight that we're going to next yep. at 120 with the S400 tip. Yep. See how that kind of feels. Uh, so I know in previous fittings it, it kind of lowers or it's typical to see a little bit lower ball flight. Yep. But I'm interested to see how I kind of can affect that face angle with the different tip section. Whew. Nice. That was beauty. Ah. Overcooked it. But yeah, I was gonna man, say. Man, that felt good. It sounded way different than the other two shots. <laughs> right, right. But I mean, your smash factor is 1.42, so you definitely made solid contact. That's probably why. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. 
All right. I still kind of favor the last one a little bit better, that tour. All right. Well, let's try the big dog here. All right. So you called it the big dog reason why and weight wise. Yeah. Right. Huge yep. jump coming up here. We've kind of stepped from, you know, 116 in the AMT to 120, 120. Now we're going to some rebar. Yeah. Right. I would expect this to fly, launch a little bit lower. Okay. Um, and I mean, that last one, the spin was pretty low, but I would, I would guess that it's just going to be a, definitely a lower launch here. Okay. Okay. We'll see if I'm right. So now we're up to 132 grams. Yep. So a 12 gram jump from the last. And I wasn't really a fan of the 120 weight in this. So let's see how this one shakes out. <laughs> Probably won't be a fan of that either, but well, we'll find out. About to find out. Yep, that shaft's controlling me, that's for sure. <laughs> 14 Oof. degrees launch. Oof. That was pretty good. I feel like I'm fighting the shaft a little bit. Like I've got to give it a little bit more. I see my club head speed rising. Yeah. You know, trying to get this kind of throw the kitchen sink to make this thing close and square up. Yeah. It's a completely different feel with just 12 grams of weight. Yeah. It's a huge, huge difference. There you go. That was good. All right. Yeah, that was a good one there. Interesting that, you know, you take a look at club head speed, right? And yeah, you know, 88 miles an hour. So the fastest club head speed you had with the tour issue. With the heaviest shaft. Yeah. Yep. I, I think that's one of the misconceptions out there that I see all the time. Yeah. I'm sure you do in the bays where if you give a player something heavier, they think, well, I can't swing it as fast. Right. Generally, that's not the case unless you just overload them. Right. So I'm not surprised to see that club head speed kind of jump up a little bit. But going into numbers, I mean, output on the ball speed was pretty darn good, except for the lightest shaft. Yeah. Right. At 116. So. Uh, launch angle wise, you nailed it right on the head saying kind of the tour issue would knock down the, the launch a little bit. 15.4, yep. that's dramatic. That's super, super low. The Elevate Tour did its job on kicking it up. Um, the 120 weight of the S400 was actually the highest launch, but the lowest spin. Yeah. So when we're talking irons, that's probably not something we want no. if we want to control that kind of that carry distance. And also looking at numbers, loft is loft, so pretty similar on the spin numbers. Dynamic Gold uh, S400 was the lowest down there, but it's uh, interesting how the also the the height changes mm -hmm. from 84 to 100. I, I like the 100 number a little bit better. Tour guys want everything between 100 and 110 feet if possible, everything that they flight. So I like those numbers a little bit better. Um, Talk to me about what you see, Jackie. What yeah, do you like? I mean, I, I, I went over here. This is an interesting um, comparison here. When we talk about face to path, so, you know, mm -hmm. being able to square up the club face, as you can see with the lighter shafts, right, we're, we're I mean, minus 0.4, that's pretty good with that yep. AMT black. Yeah. Uh, and then as you got more into the stiffer tip type shafts, mm -hmm. you know, we're really close. Yeah. And that, that's one thing that, you know, when we're fitting, uh, you just, if something's too stiff or too heavy, that is the tendency to go that direction. Absolutely. Um, yeah, absolutely. I brought up the point, you know, where I felt like that the last shaft, the tour issue as 400, the heaviest one was controlling me. Yeah. I had no idea. You're all the, over the place. Exactly. Yeah. And we see that all the time with players. So keep on going. I like yeah. what you're talking about. I think then you, you take a look at some of the other numbers here. Um, you know, dynamic loft is, you know, honestly, not too bad with that dynamic gold S400. Yeah, but talk, that talk to me, what, what is dynamic loft? Bring that point up. What is dynamic loft? So in terms of like when the ball comes off the face, okay. right? Being able to get that ball in a, in a higher degree of loft okay. is, I mean, essentially it comes down to, uh, compares to launch angle a little bit in okay. terms of how that goes through the air, right? Sure. So, so kind of at impact, that's how much I show yeah. to the golf ball. So I'm de-lofting the club. Correct. And then with a heavier weight, I'm actually de-lofting it more because it's carrying me through the golf swing. Right. 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 Interesting. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, I take a look at all these shafts, and I really like the the numbers with the Elevate Tour, mm -hmm. um, just because, I mean, yeah, there's a little less spin than the AMT Black, but overall getting much more carry yardage out of that. Yeah. Uh, and that means, well, means a few different things. One, we're making better contact with it. Sure. Uh, and, you know, ball speed on that, 121.3. Mm -hmm. You know, same as the S400, but we're getting way better numbers in terms of how we're making contact with that Elevate Tour for your swing speed. Right. You know, you're getting right. better launch, you're getting better spin, uh, more height. Mm -hmm. it, it's just, yeah, this was a good test. I kind right. of expected these numbers, right. uh, but interesting to say the least in terms of, you know, where we're at here. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah. I mean, you can definitely tell I'm not seeing the right side of the golf course. No. Right, I, I'm not a fan of seeing that go right. But overall, like you said, I like the Elevate Tour. Um, kind of right out of the gates, the lightest version was kind of right in the middle there. Yeah. And, you know, I'm playing lighter weight golf shafts now yeah. at 105 grams in an X. So lighter weight, I was able to time, heavier weight threw me way off. Yeah. But well, that's why players need to get fit and see what shaft, what timing mechanism works for them and then pair it with the right club head. Yeah, we saw spin a little bit low with this. But well, that's why I play my irons weak. Yeah. Or we add two degrees of loft for them just to um, help with that flyer potential too. So. Well, and I think too, you know, you're on the, you know, at 88 miles an hour, mm -hmm. you know, you're on the upper end of that stiff flex. Yeah. But that doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to be in a heavy stiff. Right. Because, and I think that's a huge misconception when you talk about fitting, mm -hmm. is that you know guys see their club head speed go up towards 90 miles an hour and they automatically think they should be in this certain weight, Absolutely. a certain flex. Yeah. And that's it's all about you know tempo of the swing. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, club head speed's a huge factor. Yeah. But, you know, tempo, how steep you're attacking the ball, mm -hmm. things that really come into play in terms of consistency. So I think this is a good test just to show that you can have a faster club head speed, but also heavier is not always better. Right, right. That's why I got to come in and test, right? So, Jackie, thanks for having me today. Yeah, thanks for showing up.